Hello and welcome to another episode of Train Sim World 2, where I'm doing my best to drive virtual locomotives without causing major disaster. Or do I? Anyway, before we begin, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already, and follow up with bell button to turn on the notifications and stay up to date with my latest content. I would also like to encourage you to join my Discord server, where you can interact with me and other Train Sim World 2 fans, talk about the game in general, share some cool mods, or just chill. You can find link in the description down below this video. So, welcome back in another episode, uh, where we are going uh, through the journey around Sandpatch Grade, one of, uh, one of the maps, or one of the... Well, yeah, one of the maps, uh, in fact, um, or routes uh, that are available in Train Sim World 2, uh, base game in, in this case. Uh, recently, there were some, some of those preserved collection uh, scenarios being released. Uh, so I gained access to, to some, some, some older scenarios from Train Sim World 1, uh, which is nice. Uh, and more is uh, scheduled to come. Anyway, we will continue our sand patch great journey today. So let me switch to the game window. There we go. Uh, you should slowly see our uh, welcome screen or, or whatever that is. So we shall continue our journey. So let's get into another mission because those tend to be quite long. Oh, that's a nice screenshot, I'd say. Right, so, car switching. Move the newly arrived cars from the receiving yard and then continue switching the cars into their outbound cuts. There are also a couple of cars to deliver to the car shop. It should take us around one hour, so it's a very, very long scenario. Right, so, without any further ado, let's turn on generator, uh, generator fields. Um, independent brake is released. MU2, a valve lead or dead. Fantastic. Cut out valve to freight. Automatic brake released. Oh, in fact, I could put it on. Oh, no. I will just release it and apply independent brake instead. Right, and uh, now I can put reverser handle, set it to forward, because our goal is up front. Front headlight to dim, uh, there's no need to, to use full ones. We got nice, beautiful weather. And I think that's gonna be it. Uh, quick look on the map, let's see if all the switches are correctly set yeah this one is this one is these two are perfect this one is and this one is so we start with all the switches done for us fantastic uh, just quick double check uh, yeah everything is perfect right so we can release independent brake Reverser is set to forward, throttle 2, and we can get going. Speed limits are very low in this scenario, as always. It's Cumberland Yard, so don't expect high speeds. There we go. 11 miles per hour already. We are going downhill. We can set throttle to one. In fact, I can let it coast right now. We already have proper speed and we should get to our destination in no time. We are just passing through this location so we can continue traveling when we go past this point. I don't even need to slow down. It is going to be a long scenario, so 
expect this episode to be quite long. Right. I have to admit, it's a very beautiful day at Cumberland Yards. I just realized I forgot to use horn when I was setting off. Oh my goodness me. Not good, not good, not good, not good. That is not, not good. There we go. We are still going through the location so we can carry on. I hope the switches are set properly. Let me just quickly check. Okay, there is not much switching to be done. Yeah, we are still going through the location so I can carry on traveling. Stable speed, 14 miles per hour, which is pretty good. Hopefully, this scenario will eventually take us less time than, than one hour. However, providing that there is quite a lot of switching, it might not be as easy. Okay. We might need to slow down a bit soon. Oh, okay. Never mind. The locomotive will slow down on its own because we are going uphill. So you can actually see how fast we are losing speed. I'm not going to push it forward because further down the road these tracks are actually going downhill. So we will be able to... Okay, couple to formation eight vehicles. Fantastic. Right, let me just quickly see. Okay, that's the truck. This one is set. This one is set. This one is set. Right, so all the switches are set for me. Oh, I'm gaining some some more speed. I can now set throttle to 2. Oh, never mind. Let's let it coast. We are going downhill, uh, just as I predicted. And we need to roll up to that consist. Which is going to take some time. miles per hour fantastic let's get going let's get going oh dear oh dear traveling at those slow speeds is, is pretty well sometimes it, it's very monotonous uh, that's that's one of the problems with scenarios in in this game uh, so far we we went through a couple of of those uh, switching scenarios and they really start to be a bit monotonous I, I'm not sure about about you guys but I'm starting to feel that yeah there's a little bit too much of those scenarios where you just do switching around the yard those are still fun, and, and that's that's definitely a part of uh, of this game. So uh, there's well, uh, there is full justification of why those scenarios exist. Uh, but I think there should be a little bit more scenarios where you travel along uh, the main main line and and do some 
some crazy shenanigans there. Uh, it's still fun. It's still fun though to, to drive this locomotive uh, along the yard. Uh, but uh, I, I think it, it starts to be a little bit monotonous. Right. 350 yards. We are almost there. Uh, let's see. Mm, there is there is some some interesting consist out there. Fantastic. Okay, we are getting closer and closer. Let's let it coast and let's prepare to stop. That's fine, 3.7 miles per hour, that should be a good speed to, to actually attach myself to this consist, we shouldn't hit it too hard. Okay, let's wait for a minute. Definitely we need to change our reverser, independent brake can be applied. Right, stop at location, Cumberland West Bypass Track, uh, which is behind us, 0.7 miles. Let's check the switches, because probably from now on we need to sort them out uh, ourselves. Okay, that looks good. That looks good, and we need to get pretty much there, so there is no switching for us. Ooh. My bad. Right, so let's release independent brake. Throttle 2. A quick horn sound. And we should be good. There we go. We are now traveling. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, some screenshots taken. Right, let's let's focus on, on our locomotive. As always, visibility is very, very limited uh, because we are sitting in, in a single cabin. Even though there is a second cabin on the other hand uh, on the other end. Um, last time I tried to, to use the second cabin, the game was trying to, to finish the scenario. Uh, which is pretty pretty bad design if you ask me. I would prefer to, to jump to uh, to the other cabin and actually control the locomotive being at the front of the consist instead of having extra weight and extra locomotive that I don't actually use. Uh, but well, I guess some misperfections are normal for this game. Right. We can now let it coast. We are still going slightly downhill uh, so it shouldn't be a big problem uh, we will gain speed eventually and two miles per hour uh, well yeah two miles per hour of, of difference between speed limit and and our actual speed will give us that um, safety net uh, so we probably won't go uh, over 
speed limit, which is not something we, we want to do. Right, we want to stop at this location this time. Uh, so we need to watch out on that. Oh. I can give it a notch of independent brake. Just to slow things down. Okay, 280 yards. Oh, we are gaining speed really fast now. Not sure if independent brake will be good enough to, to actually stop us. It is slowing us down, that's for sure. Okay. Okay, okay. We just have to roll in a little bit more. It's just 80 yards. There we go. We can now fully stop. First locomotive, well, the rear locomotive in this case, should already be at the point, so the game will correctly read that we are in the right spot. Okay. Right, Govia location, Cumberland classification yard track 8. So let's check if the switches are set correctly. They seem to be. Yes, they are. Okay. So we are going past this location again. And then we will be probably heading towards one of these two tracks. And from there, we will start switching wagons between those uh, sidings. Right. Probably that's why this scenario is that long. So let's release independent brake. Let's give it some throttle. Sound the horn. And we are good to go. Six hundred and sixty yards. We are just passing through again, so we don't need to slow down or stop. Uh, we need to bear that in mind. I hope all the switches were correctly set. I think they were. can't be sure, but yeah, I think they were right. Let's let it coast right now. We should have good enough speed. Okay, we are on the right track. Everything seems to be working perfectly fine. Let's have a look at our consist. Beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, that, uh, that locomotive is moving. Uh, probably it was programmed to move somewhere else. Fantastic. Oh, and there is another train going right next to us. Uh, let's, let's give it a notch more of a throttle. Beautiful. Stop.
apart location. Very, very good. Right, let's get back into the cabin. So we need to stop 750 yards away from here. So yeah, as I predicted, we are going to stop at this track. We need to switch this switch. Uh, or change this switch. Yeah, and, and that's it. So there was only one switch on our way that we had to basically change. That's very good. We are traveling at a solid 12 miles per hour. Which is very, very good. It shouldn't take us long. Okay, just a touch more. 280 yards. Okay, let's let it coast. Very good. We are slowly losing speed because again we are traveling uphill slightly. There is just slight incline on, on, on those tracks so it will help us lose some of that speed and we are getting very very close to our destination let's give it a touch of independent brake okay let's release it just a bit more okay now we can use independent brake to fully stop our consist okay that's good Cumberland classification yard track 13 that's where we need to go okay let's have a look at our junctions how they are set so we need to set this track and we need to set this one and everything else is set correctly. Fantastic. Let's change the reverser. Release the brake. Sound a horn. A notch of a throttle. And, and we should be good to go. Perfect. absolutely perfect okay I, I need to find out what those MU valves exactly do uh, I'm, I'm really confused about how, how exactly they work Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, 700 yards. That's a pretty long route. Oh, look. There is another consist here. I, I didn't even notice that they are here. Oh my goodness me. Right, 600 yards. We are almost there. game seems to have some issues rendering distant objects that needs to be investigated because that looked really really bad
Okay, I think we can slowly start slowing down and bring this train to a full stop. I want just last uh, wagon to, to actually hit this marker. How far are, are we? Okay. That should be good. Okay. That's good. Okay, we need to uncouple eight vehicles. Independent brake is on. Let's open the door. Let's jump out. Right, we need to take out eight vehicles. So that's one, two, three. Oh, that's all of them. Okay. Fantastic. That's fantastic. Let's see what's next. There were a couple of other tasks to do. Objective completed. Stop at location. Okay. So, reverser to reverse. Independent brake off. And there we go. We are moving. Okay, so the first task is done. Uh, what is our next task though? Right, this needs to be changed. And we should be good to go. So when we stop at that location, uh, hopefully, uh, our next task will be to split one of those consists. Question is, which one? I think it might be this one right next to me. It might seem like like it is. Or this one on the back. Or both of them, <laughs> in fact. Uh, yeah, that's how it looks. Uh, that's why the game is asking me to, to go all the way down there. Uh, because I need to get to this side of, of the yard. So it's one of those three consists that we will have to take care of. I'm not sure which one, though. Okay, 250 yards. We are doing pretty good right now. Okay. We are now entering that junction. Good. 60 yards, almost there. The train is slowing down naturally because again we are traveling uphill. So I can now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Slightly too far away from the marker. Okay, should be good now. Fantastic. Couple to formation, eight vehicles. Okay. Let's have a look. Which one is that? Are you just kidding me now? Isn't that the one that we just left? No, that's the different one. Okay. Okay, so that's the different one. But why did the game ask me to go all the way down here? 
instead of going to to this truck you can never understand this okay reverse her forwards let's sound the horn let's release the brake and let's get going we got 600 yards to cover let it coast now we got good enough speed and just 400 yards to go almost there down okay 4.9 miles per hour we will continue braking later on train is gaining some speed but not for long okay 2.9 miles per hour that's a good speed to eventually connect to this uh, consist we are constantly gaining speed anyway okay let's apply independent break as we wait great stop at location it's somewhere behind us it's probably oh that's this truck fantastic so all we have to do is to switch our reverser sound a horn release independent brake apply throttle and there we go fantastic it's going smooth. It's going really, really smooth at the moment. Uh, that's that's very good. Hopefully this scenario won't take us that long as it was indicated. Uh, we are definitely doing much, much better than, than we used to do back in the days when, when I was starting my adventure on, on, sat, on Sand Patch Great. Those scenarios seem to feel shorter and shorter even though they are still very very long okay we are doing very very good Let's reduce the throttle to one, just to keep our speed. Okay, we can let it coast now, and and let our speed to, to drop down a little bit. We are getting much closer to, to our destination. 
150 yards. Very good. We are rapidly losing speed. Okay, 60 yards. I think that's a good time to actually apply the brakes. There we go. Okay, so we need to couple to formation for more vehicles. Let's see. Need to get onto this siding, this siding. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This one's set, this one's set. And this one is set. Okay. Let's put the reverser forward, release independent brake, let's sound the horn, and let's get moving. We need to be very careful right now, uh, because obviously we are trying to couple a consist to a consist, and obviously uh, we got very limited visibility. So I'm going to use a uh, view. Uh, well, map view uh, to, to help me guide my train uh, correctly to, to that um, consist. For now though, we can just carry on. Let's let it coast, we are going downhill anyway. So the train will pick up some speed and we shouldn't be going too fast anyway uh, otherwise we would probably derail okay 500 yards Very good. We can now give it a touch of independent brake. Let's slow down. Okay, 2.9 miles per hour. It is going to take us a little bit longer to, to make contact with this consist. But I want to have full control over my speed. And I don't want to hit that consist behind us too hard. Okay, almost there. Okay, there we are. Did we just bounced off? I think we bounced off. Oh, we might have been going too slow. Okay, 
Okay. Okay. Okay, that is something new. That is something very new. And I'm not going to lie, very unexpected. Okay, 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 okay. So, what is wrong with that? For some reason, I can't couple to, to this consist. I'm not sure if, if that's the couplers that, that are wrong or am I just going too slow? For some reason, this train just doesn't want to couple. Well, they should automatically couple. Hmm. That is interesting. It might be that I was going too slow. Um, that would explain why the train is just jumping off. Okay, that's an interesting experience. It is slowing us down a little bit. Let me just reverse by a touch so I can gain some speed. Okay, that should be enough. Ooh, that was really harsh braking. Okay, now we will gain some speed. That should be enough. Oh. Okay. Okay. There is some problem with this consist. And for some reason I can't couple to these vehicles. Can anyone explain me why is this happening? Hmm. That is interesting. Is there anything that I need to do with this? Is that because this coupler was locked? Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Doesn't seem to be that. Right. Right. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That is very interesting.
Oops. Uh, I climbed to the wrong local. Did I? I was at the right one. Oh my goodness me. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right. So what's the big deal with that couplers? Why am I unable There we go. Finally. Okay. 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 So there were some issues with that. Right. Uncouple vehicles. Nine vehicles. I see. Right. Oops. We don't want to roll down, that's for sure. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Did I left? Oh, I left the doors locked. Well, unlocked. Oh dear, what a mess. What a mess. Oh well. I expected this to be a boring scenario and eventually here we are, some adventures. <laughs> right. So I can uncouple these. And now we got... Three wagons. Okay. Hopefully this time there will be no more issues. So, ooh, sorry pal. Let's get here. Okay. And now set reverse it to reverse release independent brake sound a horn and reverse back to where we are supposed to be let's quickly check all the junctions yeah it all looks perfectly fine Let's turn off that bell, it's really annoying. Let's let it coast. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I lost so much time on, on those problems with, with the couplers and it turns, up, uh, turns out I was supposed to go a little bit faster for some reason. Uh, normally three, 3 miles per hour were more than enough, uh, but this time I really had to smash into that consist in order to, to couple it to to the end of my train. Uh, I'm not sure if, if that's a, that's just a bug or if, if I was just going way too slow uh, in in general with with, uh, with those couplings. Oh well. Oh well, we got it eventually. It took us a little bit longer than, than expected, uh, but thankfully uh, Sandpatch Grade is not all about um, keeping a time in, in a good manner. Uh, obviously, yeah, good timekeeping on the artworks is definitely um, highly appreciated, uh, but in this case we are focusing on precision on, on doing our tasks uh, properly on performing our job as it should be uh, not to to race with time uh, even though yes a good timekeeping would probably help because uh, many of those consists needs to be ready by a certain time Right, 80 yards. We need to roll back. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We lost too much speed. 
I was too focused on talking and too little focused on my speed. Okay, 30 yards. We can now give it a touch on our brakes. There we go. Couple to formation for vehicles. Hopefully this time everything will be much easier. Right. Reverser forward. Break off. Let's sound the horn. And let's go. Seven hundred sixty yards. Is that going to be our last task? I'm not sure. Uh, I think that was the last one. I'm not sure if there is anything more to do. We've already spent a good hour on on this scenario, and it's only because I had some bumps on the road that uh, that we are probably still driving but well mistakes uh, that's how you build experience you won't get experience until you need it the most unfortunately so that's how it works all right 12 miles per hour that's a little bit on a fast side, I'm not going to lie, but we should be alright. Okay, almost there, let's have a look at the map. Yeah, we are quickly approaching that's not the right junction yeah that's definitely not the right junction oh my goodness me oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Wrong junction. Yeah, I need to change that switch before I can continue. Oh my goodness me. Another minute lost because I messed up. Yeah, this one was supposed to be changed there. Fantastic. Right. Now we're going the right direction. Let's let it coast now. We are getting very close to to our destination now. Yeah, everything is set correctly. Yay, I got it right. Okay, yeah. So so far, yeah, two mistakes. Uh, not not a big deal uh, in that case. Uh, we've we've never gone uh, over the speed limit and uh, there is no time requirement on those scenarios so uh, definitely those mistakes can be fixed and and uh, and you won't lose well your score or good grade for uh, for doing those jobs uh, the only thing that you will lose is your own time uh, which obviously yeah I've just spent extra good five minutes uh, trying to fix issues that I shouldn't have. 
Anyway. We are rolling. Uh, we are doing 5.3 miles per hour. I might give it a touch on a break. Just to drop us below 5 miles per hour. Okay. And with that speed we should be alright to actually couple to this consist. Which is 130 yards away from, uh, from my locomotive. Obviously we will couple to it much sooner. Because we are pushing three wagons. So I would expect it to happen somewhere right now. Yep. We are going pretty fast. 4.8 miles per hour. Uh, but yeah, that should be... Oh, and again, the couplers are locked. Yep. Okay, so now I understand. Couplers are just locked. And I need to unlock them before I will connect to those trains. Right. That's very interesting. So this one needs to be unlocked. And this one needs to be unlocked. Okay, and now the game should let me couple those two trains. Let me just use the brake. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we can uncouple the whole consist. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There we go. Now it should work. Okay, so that was unexpected requirement uh, that I didn't knew about. Uh, but, well, that's, that's how you build experience once more. I'm gonna repeat myself on this one. There we go. Uh, stop at location. So we are going back there. And is that going to be our last task? Uh, I'm not sure. It might be. Or it might not. That's a good question. Okay. 11 miles per hour. Let's reduce the throttle to 1 uh, So that we can just keep the speed And hopefully That is the end of this scenario Hopefully uh, If not, well There's probably like one more uh, Switching task that we will have uh, So Either way that's how this scenario goes. Uh, it was definitely unexpected to see that couplers are, are locked and... Oops, uh, no, 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 wrong button. Oh my goodness me. Right, let's let it go now. We are going pretty fast. Okay, that should be good. 25 yards. Oh, so there is another formation that we need to couple to. This one. Okay, so this switch is set. This switch needs to be set. And this switch needs to be set. There we go. Okay. Okay. Reverser. Brakes. 
and let's get going. 480 yards. Okay, we are getting much, much closer. Seven miles, uh, that's pretty good speed to, to approach. Not too fast, not too slow. I can have good control over the train. I can now slow down to just below 5. We should be good. Okay. That went smooth. And as expected. Okay, stop at location, which is behind us. Yeah, we are going all the way back there. So reverse to reverse. Independent break off. And let's get going. That looks like uh, like our last task. Um, looking at our points, we managed to gather 7,780 points so far. And that's one last consist that we need to either split or move to other track. Uh, I don't think there's going to be much more to, to do in this scenario. We, we've already spent over an hour trying to, to move those cars around. And I don't expect this scenario to be any longer. It took us a while. I'm not going to lie. Uh, there were a few bumps on our way. Uh, for example, uh, locked uh, couplers. That, that definitely slowed us down. Uh, it was never explained in the game that those couplers can be locked. And, and they will prevent us from, uh, from uh, connecting to, to consoles altogether. Uh, so that was definitely a big surprise for me. Uh, but so far, other than that, uh, apart from one uh, poorly switched junction that, that slowed me down by approximately a minute, um, there were no huge issues uh, throughout this uh, scenario. Uh, it is pretty long. I'm not going to lie, this is pretty long scenario. Uh, which is a little bit of a problem of uh, Train Sim World 2. Uh, pretty much every scenario in the game is uh, is on the long side. Um, I don't mind doing long scenarios, but obviously it will uh, also extend this video. Uh, is there much to talk about it? Well, we are once more um, doing jobs around Cumberland uh, Yard. Uh, and I'm not going to lie, this is like fourth or fifth scenario in a row. And I don't expect uh, those scenarios to end that soon. There's going to be more and more of them to come. Right. We should be at the right spot. Perfect. 
couple of formations, six vehicles. Okay, so we need to change this switch. Definitely this switch. Okay, that looks good. So we need to connect to that. Okay. So, let's set the person to forward. Let's sound the horn. And let's get going. Probably uh, I will have to unlock the couplers. So, again, uh, before uh, before I will connect those two consoles, I will have to stop, uh, double check if couplers are uh, prepared for uh, for the job. Come back to my locomotive, connect those two consoles, jump out, uh, disconnect uh, part of the consoles, move back, and we will repeat that process until we finish. Uh, hopefully, it won't take us too long this time. Uh, we now got experience, we now know what to do. Uh, but definitely this scenario is taking very long time. And as I expected, it took us over an hour already. Well, that's, that's how long scenarios in this game are. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, that makes for a very long videos, but well... You can always watch them at any given time. That's the beauty of pre-recorded videos. Right. I might need to... Slowly... Bring my train to a stop. I will fully stop this time before reaching uh, the other end of the train. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm not sure what was that, but okay. Anyway, uh, the train is stopped. I can now check if... Yeah, this one is now unlocked. Let's unlock this one. There we go. Now it should work. And we should be able to, to connect those two consoles together. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. For some reason the game works like that. Uh... I'm not sure why, previously I wasn't able to, to connect uh, two consoles all together, so now, based on, on the experiences, I will just double check the couplers first. I'm not going to lie, it is a very long route to run. And it's pretty un inefficient, because normally you would have someone check that before before you even set off um, but well that's the reality of train sim world 2 we are getting there though i will let let the train coast uh, 4.6 miles per hour uh, that's pretty good speed and we should soon connect to other end of the consist yep connection should happen now fantastic 
let's apply independent brake uncouple 10 of those vehicles so again I need to jump out oh my goodness me and run all that way There we go. Very good. Now we need to reverse. We are rolling. We just need to reverse to our previous location. Five hundred yards away. Oh dear. Yeah, this scenario started to feel long, even though it's it's not super long it was just my mistakes that made it much much longer but well mistakes makes things happen uh, well makes things much more interesting isn't it? it wouldn't be as fun if I would be always perfect on it even though yeah it would probably make things a little bit faster Okay, 150 yards. We are getting very close. Uh, the train is... Well, slowing down a bit. Because again, we are going uphill. Oh dear, oh dear. That's how this yard is constructed. 40 yards. 35 yards. Okay. We can now brake. There we go. Couple to formation, seven vehicles. Again, I can now change that switch. Those are set correctly. Okay. Hopefully, uh, that will be last formation that we need to couple to. Let's sound the horn. Let's turn the bell off. And we are rolling. Right, I think our consist is still a bit too long. To fit all those wagons. Yeah, I, I think uh, I will leave just part of my train on this one. Reverse again. And then connect to, to this one last consist that is still on this siding. Uh, we just seem to have a little bit too much uh, wagons attached to the locomotive to, to just leave them all. Unless I'm just mistaken. And, and I will just uh, have a pleasant surprise right now. Uh, 
But yeah, probably I will leave all those blue wagons on uh, with that consist back there. Okay, I would probably would probably be wise thing to do to slow down. Oh, a bit too much. Right, the question is, are the couplers uh, set correctly or will I have to redo them again? Let's try it out. If, if the train will bounce off, uh, I will just go back and, and fix the couplers. the train won't bounce off, I will save some time. Yeah, that's gonna be the plan. We are getting there. Ooh, is this consist going to fit? If it does, it's just going to happen. Wow. I'm surprised it actually fully fits. Okay. Couplers were indeed ready. Okay, let's wait for a moment. Uncouple vehicles, 13 vehicles. Which means... Oh, yeah. Just as I expected, I'm leaving all those blue wagons on the siding, and those yellow wagons are going with me. Okay, so uh, back again, 600 yards. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It takes forever to, to get this task done. Really. This scenario is a very, very long one. I think that's going to be our last task. Uh, so we will just connect those two wagons into the right consist, and that should be the last task. I I don't see how how there could be anything more. Uh, we just need to lose those two wagons. Question is, where are they going to be attached to? I predict it's going to be this siding, however I still need to reverse all the way back there, which is a bit of a, well, terrible design I'd say, but well, it is something that you have to do, uh, you, you can't skip that step. Come on, come on. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It just takes forever. It just really takes forever. Okay. 40 yards. That sounds like a good moment to apply the brake. Perhaps a little bit more of that brake. Ooh, that was pretty harsh braking. 
Right, stop at location. Oh, reverser was automatically set to forward. Or was it? Oh, okay, never mind. I just pressed the button. Uh, right, so let me just check where I need to be. Oh, that's interesting. That's something new. Right, so this one is set. This one is set. And now I need to double check all the switches. Yeah, this one is not set. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Very good. We can now release the brake. And let's get going. Okay, we can let the train coast. Uh, we are going downhill anyway, so it, it will pick up some speed. We just need to get through that 0.6 miles uh, route, which is going to take us a while. Because uh, the train needs to roll through it. Ooh, we are just losing speed. Why is that? That is interesting. Okay, 900 yards. We're nearly there. That wasn't the switch that I wanted to do. Uh, thankfully, I managed to save it up. We are now moving really fast. Okay, okay. are now slowing down this train should be going uphill yeah that looks good nearly there uh, pretty much we can start slowing down a bit okay throttle is idle and we should now be able to There we go, we can now uncouple those vehicles, independent brake can be at full application.
There we go. Wow. 11,300 points. That's a lot. Okay. Stop at location. Which is probably behind us. Yep. Yeah, back there. And I think that's going to be the end of this scenario. So let's release independent break. Let's sound horn. Let's apply throttle. And in just a couple of minutes, we should be ready to finish this scenario. Fourteen miles per hour. Perfect. And all we have to do is to now reverse. Oh dear, it's gonna take a while. Everything is so far on this yard that those simple operations uh, that, that we just did, a uh, couple of switching, a uh, couple of uh, like uh, train, uh, well, yeah, train assemblies, uh, they actually take a whole lot of time. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it, it took us nearly one and a half hour if I'm correct I can't remember exact time when the scenario started but it started I think half past twelve and we now have well we are now at ten past two so uh, definitely it took us a long time. Okay, 300 yards to go. We are nearly there. Holding stable 14 miles per hour. Down to 200 yards. We can let it coast. and allow train to, to actually naturally slow down. We can now give it a touch of independent brake. And we should be good. Okay, and that's it. The scenario is over. So it took us, uh, where is that? Time taken, one hour, 26 minutes, exactly. Uh, we have driven uh, nine and a half miles of a distance and we walked for 1.3 miles. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot. Anyway, as always, a uh, gold medal, uh, or well, as always, as always so far, gold medal. Uh, with a total score of 11,860. Uh, so, when it comes to complication, this scenario wasn't that bad. It was pretty, pretty easy. Uh, there were no crazy bells and whistles. Um, you just had to pick up a couple of consists, uh, move them to appropriate tracks, connect them together, uh, split few things, and, and, and that's it. However, all those tasks take a lot of time. Um, as you can probably see for yourself, it took us one and a half hours. That was really, really long. Right, anyway, without any further ado, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this scenario. I did. Uh, I really had fun uh, playing it, even though it became a little bit monotonous. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get informed about my new content, hit that notification bell button. And don't forget to share your comments down below. Have a great day and see you all later. Latter. Out.